hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with uh, POS K map and uh, already we have discussed about three variable K map and uh, we discussed a lot of questions related to that so in the next series of videos we'll discuss about four variable POS K map the uh, uh, questions on simplification so before watching this video i want you to please go through the basics of sop and pos the basics of sop carno map pos carno map both uh, uh, two three and four variable and if you have done that and if you have some knowledge about that only then you watch this video so that you understand it in a better way okay so here we have uh, is a question on simplification and uh, we have this pos expression okay given in terms of max terms so the max terms are 0 2 8 9 12 13 15 so i have already discussed about min terms max terms sop pos canonical forms so please it is all in the digital electronics playlist so please go through the videos the which are related to this topic okay so these are the max terms we have we have the format of the four variable pos k map ready with us so now we will just mark the respective cells as zero which are in these max terms so 0 2 8 9 12 13 and 15 0 2 8 9 12 13 and 15 okay so these are the uh, cells which are in these max terms and we have marked them as zero because it is POSK map okay so now we have to form groups okay so if you notice cells 8 9 12 and 13 we can form a quad here okay a quad here then cells 13 and 15 we can join to form a pair okay next cells 0 and 2 we can form a pair okay so all the cells have been grouped so now we have to find the common terms the common variables from these groups okay so first let us consider this group okay the horizontal and vertical components k a b this is c or t and c bar or t so if you see here in the horizontal side we have this as common a or b and the vertical side we have d common so the for this group the variable is a or b or t these this is the common set of variables that are there in this group okay now for this group involving cells 13 and 15 this pair okay so here the vertical components are C or D bar and C bar or D bar the vertical component uh, the horizontal component is A bar or B bar so this one 13 and 15 so here in the horizontal side we have this as common A bar or B bar and in the vertical side we have D bar common so here 
this are the common set of variables okay a bar or b bar or t bar now this quad 12 13 8 and 9 okay these four cells this quad so So the horizontal and vertical components, the horizontal components are A bar or B bar, A bar or B, C or D, C or D bar. Okay. So here in the horizontal side we have A bar common and uh, in the vertical side we have c common so here it is a bar or c so the simplified boolean expression is the combination of this the product of some form which is a or b or d product with a bar or B bar or D bar and A bar or C. This is the simplified Boolean expression. Okay, this. So for this, this is the simplified Boolean expression. So same as we did in uh, the four variable SOP K map here the difference is that it is in product of some form and just what we write for the 0 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 that is different and everything else is the same the grouping technique is the same identifying the common variables is the same just we have to represent it in product of some so watch POS watch SOP videos try to find the difference practice as many problems related to this only then you will get a hold of these things okay so this is the second question related to four variable pos kmap simplification so again we have this uh, expression given pos which is in terms of the max term values and the max term values are 0 1 2 3 8 9 10 11 12 13 so we have the format of the POS kmap ready with us so directly we will mark the respective cells so here the cells are uh, the max term values are 0 1 2 3 okay 0 1 2 3 8 9 10 11 okay 8 9 10 11 12 and 13 12 and 13 okay so the marking is done we have mapped the values to the kmap now we have to form the groups so if you uh, pay attention to cells 0 1 2 3 and 8 9 10 11 we can group them to form one octet involving eight cells okay this is one group octet next pay attention to cells 8 9 12 and 13 we can group them to form a quad okay so these are the two groups that can be formed in this k map now we have to find the common variables okay so for this octet okay this is the octet horizontal components a or b and a bar or b 
vertical components C or D, C or D bar, C bar or D bar, C bar or D. So, you see here in the vertical side there is nothing common ok there is nothing common in the vertical side because everything is changing from one cell to the other in these two cells c is common but here it is changing to c bar then again in these two cells d bar is common but again it is changing to t so there is nothing common in each of the four vertical components now if we pay attention to the horizontal side we have b common in both the horizontal components. So, for this group the common variable is just b, b ok. Now, for this quad ok. So, for this quad 0 0 0 0 here a bar or b bar a bar or b the horizontal components the vertical components are c or d c or d bar so here in the horizontal side we have a bar as common in the vertical side we have c as common so, here the common set of variables will be a bar or c ok. So, now combining these two b and a bar or c the simplified boolean expression for this given POS expression given in terms of max term values is a bar or c b ok in terms of product of sums this is the simplified boolean expression ok this is the simplified boolean expression 